Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Approximately one week ago, Cosmo and Neymar have been finally opened and different people from the hair loss community have been starting to place orders and to buy the product and are waiting for their products to be delivered as we speak. And since I have been experiencing exponential growth on my channel as of late, thanks to you guys, I figured out to maybe take advantage of that growth and make this little experiment that will hopefully bring value to my viewers and to the hair loss community overall. So if you bought Cosmo RNA or planning to do so, please keep watching the video until the end. This won't be a long one. But before jumping right into the subject, I wanted to go ahead and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with the upcoming hair loss treatments and new release data I post here regularly. So if you want to participate in this experiment, here's what you gotta do. You have to uh, contact me on this email now and uh, I want you to send me an email and uh, include photographs of your current state of hair loss. So if you have, for example, hair loss in your crown area, like I do, if you have thinning in the crown, I want you to take different photographs or one as you like, but that photograph should be taken under good light conditions and should be taken from a good camera angle. So you should not try to flatter yourself with the photo. You should take it objectively from a good camera angle that shows the most your hair loss state. And the third criteria for that photo is that your hair should be styled the same way that you always style your hair. Because in the follow-up photos that you will be sending me each month, if you wish to participate in this experiment, you will also be asked to send the photographs with your hair styled in that particular style. So, uh, after you send these photos, I want you to also include in the email three information. I want you to write me your age. Uh, I want you to write me also the onset of your hair loss. So, when did your hair loss start? Is it one year ago, three years ago, five years ago maybe? So the onset of your hair loss and I want you to send me the current treatments that you're taking for your hair loss. So is it uh, finasteride, minoxidil, uh, oral minoxidil, pyrolutamide, although I don't encourage taking non-FDA approved treatments, uh, but that's a topic for another video. But uh, I want you to send me these three uh, information along with those photographs. And I want you to send me that email right now of your current state of hair loss plus those particular informations. And uh, after one month from starting to take in uh, Cosmo RNA, I want you to send me follow-up photos of the same area that you sent me in the first photo. So again, in our hypothetical case, if, you're, uh, if it's thinning in the crown area, I want you to take the same photographs under the same light conditions and uh, the same camera angle uh, and show me what the evolution of your hair loss comes to. And then send me another photo, another email after and an additional month, and then send me the last photo in the third month of using Cosmo RNA. Now, I know that this should not be even compared to a randomized uh, clinical trial. Uh, it's uh, really far from it, but it should give us uh, somewhat of an idea of whether these studies that we discussed in the video about Cosmo RNA, by the way, go watch it if you didn't yet, um, are true or that data is lacking somehow. So true, this is personal anecdotes and should not be considered as valuable information to assess a compound, but it's a little uh, experiment between me and you guys. So if you wish to participate in this experiment, please send me an email right now with photographs under good light conditions, good camera angle and good styling of your hair like you usually do it and include in that email a uh, information about your age, the onset of your hair loss and the current treatments you're having for androgenetic alopecia. And please guys, don't uh, show your faces in, the, uh, in those photos because I will maybe share in some of those photos in other videos to discuss maybe interesting stories of hair loss. And the second thing that I wanted to talk about in this video is the second uh, clinical trial done on Cosmo RNA. 
And if you're a follower of this channel, you already know that we spoke extensively about the first clinical trial done for this product by its mother company, Bioneer Engineering, and we discussed um, uh, in details all the components of that study, going from the safety profile to the efficacy, which was 1.8 hairs per square centimeter improvement from baseline versus placebo in 24 months. Um, so if you want to watch that video again, go watch it if you're interested after watching this video. But uh, I was made aware by one of my viewers that there are uh, there is a second clinical study that assessed the usage of cosmRNA in a different dosage because the first study that we talked about cosmRNA had been used once per week. But in this study that I was made aware of by one of my viewers, again, thanks to him, uh, he told me that there was a second study that assessed the usage of cosmRNA um, once per two weeks. So it's the same recommendations that were given by the company for actually using cosmRNA after it's been launched. So uh, that explains uh, a lot of confusion that we've been having. So if one of you guys have hands on that particular study that assessed again usage of cosmRNA uh, once per two weeks, please send it to me by email so that I can read it uh, thoroughly and uh, present it to you in a neutral fashion in a separate video. And the last thing that I wanted to discuss in this video, and it's more of a clarification. Some people seem to have the idea, although I explained this in my uh, previous video, some people still seem to have the idea that I make money out of promoting cosmorna some people said or um, talking a lot of about this product although guys i want to make this uh clear between me and you i only make money from youtube and i started making money from youtube actually two days ago <laughs> i uh got my channel monetized only two days ago so i wasn't making any cent from this uh in the last year but i do not make any scent from uh, Bioneer Engineering or from the CosmRNA team. And actually, if you watch my video about CosmRNA, I had some big criticisms about the product and its safety profile, and especially the method the authors used in the clinical study that was published in Nature magazine about the um, assessment of the safety of this compound. And if you remember, I talked about how in my medical school, our professors always taught us to um, assess a safety of a compound by its uh, clinical uh, symptoms that it exerts on patients, not by the biological markers like were assessed in the study of cosmorna. So that was a big uh, safety uh, criticism that I had on the product. So I didn't praise the product and I wanted to clarify this once again, guys. I don't make money from Bioneer Engineering and I don't make money from the cosmorna team. And again, if you're interested in the mechanism of action or the safety profile and what did I have to say about it or the exact efficacy of cosmRNA, please watch my video about the first clinical study that was made on it. I explain everything in detail there. And it actually has a really interesting mechanism of action using siRNA, which is also called small interfering RNA, which is a small sequence of genetic material that interferes with the protein synthesis. I'm not gonna go into details on that particular uh, topic now, but you can go ahead and watch my video again. I speak in details about everything there Or if you're maybe interested in alternative treatments for androgenetic alopecia You can go ahead and watch my other videos on them. I talk about finasteride I started a new series about finasteride and its long-term efficacy and soon I will make a video about its long-term safety data Also about pyrolutamide. I talk about that uh, compound in two videos and especially about vertoporfin, which is again the, in my opinion, the compound that will cure hair loss forever. Not from a pharmacological standpoint, but from a uh, surgical standpoint, from a hair transplant standpoint. If you're interested in what I just said, please watch my video on vertoporfin. It's really interesting. Uh, and with that being said, thank you for sticking up to the end of the video uh, please like the video if you find it informative and as always stay safe